Okay, I want to look at um, multiples and factors and how they're different. Um, just to stay with some basics, um, multiples is just multiplying a number out. It's basically what we call an elementary skip counting. So for example, if I have a number two, it would be as if I took two and multiplied it by one the first time, then took two and multiplied it by two the next time, and so on and so, on and so forth all the way. Um, really, you don't have to stop. Um, so after two, this is one times two, two times two would give you four. The next number that would come in the sequence would be two times three. So that would be six. I don't write these numbers on the top. Um, we can kind of skip count pretty fast, so we just keep going on. So after two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and we can keep going. We can just keep going all the way, I mean, to infinity, really. Um, let's try a different number. What about five? If I'm listing the multiples, I want to think of the word multiply. And so I'm going to multiply this same number by, the, by one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So it would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, so on and so forth. Now, the difficult part of this is as the numbers get bigger. So you're more than welcome to do the multiplication on the side. If you don't know your multiplication facts very quickly, it's important you take the time to multiply it to the side. Um, if I had a number like 17, 17 times 2 is 34. What's 17 times 3? 51. What's 17 times 4? 68. Now what some students do is when they get stuck, instead of multiplying 17 times 4, you could underneath write really tiny plus 17, and you could just add it down here, and you know that's the next number that's gonna come there. I could do it over here and add 17 here. And I know the next number is what? 85, okay? Those are your multiples. I'm just multiplying that number out, okay? Factors are the numbers that make up that number. I'm gonna divide it. And I want it to be whole numbers only. No fractions, no decimals, okay? What you're gonna start, let's pick a number. Let's start with 10, okay? All factors have um, one for them, okay? One times that number is all we work, it always works out. Would zero work? No, because your answer's gonna be zero, right? So we're gonna do one times what gives me 10? 10, okay? This is how I do it. Um, not everyone does it. A lot of people list it out just like you did with the multiples. I like to start here so I don't miss any numbers. So the next number after one that comes numerically is two. So I'm gonna try two. Two times blank gives me 10. Can 10 be divided by two? Sure, two times five, correct, okay? Then I'm gonna look here and say, can three work? Well, we know 10 can't be divided by three. What about four? No. What about five? Well, guess what? I notice it's kind of like a, a U, a loop. I've already written five here. Yes, 10 can be divided by five, and that's two. I don't need to write it backwards. That's redundant, that's repetitive. Um, it's creating more work than I need to do. So we don't have to do that. And all we do now is we're gonna write these numbers just like the U is in order. One, two, five, and 10. Those are the factors of the number 10. Let's try another one. What about 68, let's say, okay? 68. I might have to erase this and try this. Um, I'm gonna start with one, one times 68, okay? What about two? Is 68 an even number? Sure is, so it can be divided by two. Two times 
34 gives you 68. I'm going to box this number so we know we're focused on 68. What about 3? Do you know the rule for 3? What you can do is you can add these two numbers. So what's 6 plus 8? Fourteen. Now add those two numbers. One plus four is what? It's five. Can five be divided by three evenly? No. So this number cannot be divided by three. So it's a little trick to make things a little easier. If you want to, you can sit here and divide it and see. Sixty-eight divided by three. remainder. So does it divide evenly? No. So I can't use that one. Okay. So I'm going to skip three. What about four? Can I divide 68 by four? I can. 68 divided by four. Four goes into six one time. Mr. Diggs, please come to Miss Bell's office. Mr. Diggs. Thank you. Okay, can 28 be divided by 4? Sure can, number 7. So, 4 times 17. Okay, what about 5? Well, does 68 end in 0 or 5? No, so we're going to skip 5. What about 6? Well, Six is kind of the same rule as three. If three didn't work, six and eight, six and nine are also not going to work. Okay. What about seven? Seven times. What's seven times twelve? Eighty-four. What's seven times eleven? Seventy-seven. What's seven times ten? Seventy. What's seven times nine? Sixty-three. None of those work, right? So we're gonna skip the. Seven. What about eight? Eight times eight is sixty-four, right? So that's not going to work. What about nine? Well, remember we're going to skip it. What about ten? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Could that work? We can try. You can try always if you think. What do you think it would be 14 times what? Well, the only thing I can think about is that 4 times what ends in an 8? Well, a 2, and then like a 7. Well, 7 would be too large, right? Okay, so that's not going to work. 15, 16, no. And what happens is, notice I'm back to the 17 again. So I'm going to make my little U, and now I know how to write it. One, two, four, seventeen, thirty-four, sixty-eight. And those are my factors. Okay, thanks for joining me. Hopefully that helped. It was a little longer than I had hoped, but hopefully it kind of helped some students who needed to um, see the difference between the two.